told you that wasn't a normal drop shoot. Break his legs. Then take him to Rides. Back up! All of you! Stop! Loud noises draw them. <laughs> 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 So I decided to play Dying Light because the second game is coming out and let me tell you there are some great things about this game and then there are some bad things about this game. <laughs> are you serious my brother? So you might be asking what is Dying Light and why should I be listening to this guy? Well first off I would like to say I'm a professional parkour expert. <gasps> Basically, in the game, the experts that are surviving are parkour experts. Ah! Parkour! I know it's crazy, but bear with me, because this stuff works. I felt myself having the best time jumping off buildings, fighting zombies and soldiers. When nighttime came, you feel an intensity and your heart was racing when you're running to safety to get to a safe zone. Oh shit, get out of there. Oh fuck 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 This thing is fast Help Fuck 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 why did I get myself into this? This is why you don't go out at night, kids. You do not go out at night. You stay home, drink some cocoa. That all changed when guns are introduced at the end of the second act and the beginning of the third act. Guns are so broken that it just decreases the intensity of the game and makes it lose its identity. The story in the game is below average at best. If you played any zombie game, it's literally a copy and paste of it. 95% of the characters are not memorable and have no standout traits. I literally forgot who was who throughout the story. The only characters that are important to the story are Jade, Raheem, and Roz and your character. Here's a spoiler warning, let's get into spoiler. Now let me tell you exactly what I did not like. First of all, your character Crane is probably the dumbest character ever. He found two boxes of Anazin, which is zombie suppressant if you get bitten. And he got bit in the beginning, but he burned both the boxes because the GRE told him to. Okay, hear me out. Why? Why would he why would he burn that? That doesn't make any sense. He needs the Anazin to survive. He doesn't know how long the mission's gonna take, and he only takes one? Really? Next, let's talk about the deaths of the game. Jade and Raheem died.
These deaths are so obvious. First of all, Raheem's death is so basic, and the only reason he died is because he hated a building more than his life. You knew he was going to die in that moment. And then we have Jade's death, which is basically just a copy and paste of it, but you get a dream sequence, but that was just... I didn't like the dream sequence. I, didn't, I thought it was no value in it. Now let's talk about Brecken, the so-called leader of the group. Now he ain't a leader. Man got injured once, and then he just says, "All right, put me on, put me on the bench, coach." And the coach is like, "Get in. We need your help." He's like, "No, no, 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 no. I'm done. I'm, st I'm, I'm like a little kid. He's like, no, I'm not doing this anymore. I don't want to play this anymore." It's like, bro, you're supposed to be our leader. He just never actually helps. He just vents. This is where we get the announcements about the anti syndromes. And they've just stopped. They will kill Now let's talk about the finale. The finale was a joke. First of all, the game prioritizes fast pace and maneuvering your enemies. Then why the hell is the final boss fight a quick time event? You click five buttons and then you kill Ross. It doesn't make any sense. And then the conclusion's even worse. You kill Ross, you have the stuff for the cure, but it doesn't tell you if you make the cure, it doesn't tell you if you escape Haran, it doesn't tell you if the GRE gets exposed, it doesn't tell you anything, it just says fuck you and here are the end credits.